Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you have been here before, then you would know I haven't been posting that much. Typically, I post twice a week, and within the last one to two weeks, I've been only doing one video and sometimes even none. And that's because I've been just taking time for myself, for my mental health, and with everything that's been going on, especially just this past year, it's just been really overwhelming and it's been a lot to say the least and i just needed my own space and it could be quite challenging to talk to a camera and be happy-go-lucky when there are really big issues going on that i care about and if you follow me on my instagram specifically my stories i do talk about it and what's going on is really important so this is my reminder to you take care of your mental health take some time for yourself and just take a deep breath and we are all in this together and don't forget to stand up for others and just to look out for one another and always be kind now that i've said that let's go into the full line review of tower 28 beauty guys i'm very new to this brand i honestly was like let me just try it all you know i haven't just tested just one product a while ago and then went from there, I was like, let's just go all out. So I have all the products, this is a full line review, and I wanna show you guys my opinions and the overall application. So Tower 28 is a fairly new beauty brand. They do beauty and skincare. They are non-toxic, non-irritating, vegan, and cruelty-free. This brand has a lot of hype, especially on social media and on YouTube. Some of my favorite YouTubers have been talking about this brand, and I've been just so, so curious, and I had to try out this brand. And it's also pleasantly founded by in Asian American women. Guys, I love supporting diverse women. I love supporting diversity and just celebrating all of that. And it's just really amazing just to learn about this brand. And Amy is the founder and it was just really cool to hear about her story and the name behind Tower 28. If you guys are curious about this brand, I would definitely check out their website. And I want to mention their hashtag, it's okay to be sensitive because I love that. That can mean in so many different ways from whether it's your skin type, whether whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, it's okay to be sensitive and I just really love that. And I wanted to mention it to you guys. So let's get onto this application. As you guys can see, I already have my makeup on, so the base and everything. I did put a little bit of powder because I have to. You guys know I have oily skin and I just can't stand to look at it in the camera and see just oiliness everywhere. So I did set it and then I did, you know, brows and eyes and whatnot. Let's go in with the Bronzino Illuminating Cream bronzer there are five shades i got gold coast which is right in the middle so it's a medium neutral bronzer which i think is perfect for me i could have gone the one before that which is a bit warmer i think the only reason why i picked this one was because there was an asian model and i'm like yeah that makes sense you know i'm asian we have a similar skin tone so i was like yeah this one sounds good I gotta say guys, this is absolutely amazing. You can probably tell I have dipped through this quite a bit and I just love this. It goes on seamlessly. It just looks so beautiful. Although there is shimmer, it's not chunky at all. And it just looks so beautiful. I've been wearing it from now in the spring and now that we're entering the summer, I'm gonna be wearing this throughout the months. And this is just, it's gorgeous. And I haven't tried anything that's like this. You can use your fingers just because of how blendable it is. I like using a sponge. This one is actually brand new. So don't say, I don't do anything for you guys. Brand new sponge, just so you guys can see how everything looks on my skin it doesn't change the appearance because it's brand new i like starting back here and then working my way to the front so most of the product is right here and then it just fades as you get closer to the center of the face and i like putting a little bit on the forehead and you can really build this up this is my second time putting a bit more. You can already see that pigmentation coming through. But again, it just looks so effortless, which is why I love it. And it doesn't look muddy at all. This is the before and this is the after. Again, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing like in your face, but it looks so, so beautiful. This is by far my favorite product from Tower 28 Beauty. It's stunning, guys. Out of everything that I talk about today, you have to check out this one. This just makes me look so sun-kissed, and I'm just obsessed with this, guys. I said everything that I want to say about this product, and you already know the spiel. <laughs> Next we have is the Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm. There are six shades. This costs $20. I have Golden Hour, which is kind of like a burnt orange. One of my favorite shades. It's just... 
I don't know, something about terracotta, oranges, when it gets warmer out. I just love wearing colors like this. And then the other one is Rush Hour, which is a sun-kissed peach. So two colors that I always gravitate towards. I think these colors look stunning, especially if you have warmer undertones. Absolutely beautiful. I do want to show you guys both shades. Okay, let's go in with Rush Hour. Now this is a multi-purpose tinted balm that blends seamlessly for a natural luminous finish. No cakiness, no harsh lines, just beautiful sun-kissed skin. So you can use this on your cheeks and your lips. I wouldn't be surprised if you want to use it on your eyes. I can't really do that because of my eye shape and since I have oily skin, that doesn't really work for me. I like using this specifically on my cheeks. I haven't really explored using it on my lips. I don't know why. Whenever I see something like this, I don't really think to use it on my lips. I prefer either like an actual lip product that's catered for your lips, so a lip gloss, a lipstick, a stain, anything like that. So I really use this as a blush. So going in with Rush Hour, again, I like using the sponge. You don't need that much. This is something that I learned pretty quickly but it is so buildable. As you guys can see, Rush Hour is very pigmented. I didn't think I even put too much on, but that's what it looks like. It may look quite clowny at first, but it blends in so beautifully. If anything, just flip your sponge or use your uh, foundation sponge or whatever brush and just go over it to just blend it. And when they say this is seamless, man, are they right? You don't really see kind of where it starts or where it ends. There aren't any harsh lines or anything. It just flows beautifully with the bronzer. This combination has been my go-to right now and it's just going to continue this summer i'm so excited for when it gets really warm now i do have oily skin so for anyone that's curious about tower 28 beauty and using cream products on oily skin here's the thing i had to set my skin with setting powder so i did that ahead of time honestly i probably should put a little more powder i like using the kosas cloud cloud dew i can't remember the name of it that powder is so great because it will set it but you won't lose all of like this luminosity to it which is so important to me because even though i have oily skin i still like a little glow you know i don't want to be completely matte i feel really good about this look but just to show you guys the other color this is golden hour so it is kind of like that burnt orange terracotta it is darker but i'm just gonna put a tiny bit it doesn't even compare to the other blush i'm gonna focus it back here just so you guys can see what it looks like hopefully you guys can see the difference it is absolutely stunning i just pat and blend everything with the sponge so i went pretty light-handed with the golden hour i definitely have to because this is darker than the other one and typically i wouldn't pair these two together i would do one or the other for the day but both beautiful colors next we have is the super dew highlighter balm for 18 dollars. this is clear there's no shimmer so that means me really curious because I don't believe I own anything like this definitely not in a balm format typically I wouldn't go for something like this again I have oily skin I tend to stay away from products like this especially if it's a cream but I want to try it out for you guys and just do a full line review as you guys can probably already tell I don't like this product you can see that it's already discolored it has a bit of my foundation concealer and that's because when you put it on your face it doesn't set and your hair just sticks to it which is a big no-no for me i don't like that i like when things set and this just doesn't and i don't know i really don't like it i like how it is sheer but it is quite tacky i don't know if you guys can tell see how it like sticks it's not a product that i like i am going to apply a little bit to my face just so you guys can see but it will pick up the foundation the concealer the powder that i already put on my face so i know this is going to mess up my makeup a little bit but again just to show you guys how this looks so i'm going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow on the tip of my nose my nose is is already starting to get oily and then i kind of just leave it like that the blush and the bronzer give beautiful luminosity so you really don't need this to me if this is kind of like built into the blush and bronzer and just do an overall better job but if you wanted that extra glow i would just put a little bit but again i really don't think it's necessary i don't know if you guys can tell but you can kind of see my fingerprints and where I stamped this on. Now it looks beautiful. You cannot deny that this doesn't look beautiful on the skin because it does. It just doesn't work out for my skin type. So maybe if you have normal to dry, 
this could potentially work. Maybe. I'm just gonna put a little bit right above the brow because my forehead is looking quite matte, although I do like a more matte forehead. <laughs> Again, I'm barely putting anything on. Like, can you even tell I've touched this within the last three weeks? Probably not. For the lips, I have the Shine On Lip Jellies. These are pretty much lip glosses. They do have a milk jelly one. I thought I got this one in milk jelly, but it's saying that it's a lip jelly, so I'm not too sure. I guess I made a mistake when ordering, but both of these that I'm talking about today are the lip jelly ones. So what's the difference between the milk jelly and the regular jelly? I'm not too sure. I did notice the milk jelly, the collection is based off of milk alternatives which is why there's like oat and cashew but besides that i couldn't really tell from the images and the models they looked all the same to me but the lip jelly has way more colors to choose from there are 10 colors i have two i have fire which is a vibrant orange and almond which is like a, a nudie brown the packaging in all of these products which i don't think i talked about earlier gorgeous simple it's very youth friendly and i personally like that as someone one in my mid-20s. This is just so pretty and it's really easy to open and I feel like I can use my wand and get the sides once it starts running low and kind of get as much product out of this. According to their ingredients list, it says that there's no artificial fragrance, which I didn't see anything, but it does have a smell and I can't figure it out. And I think it's because of the combination of all the oils that are in this. Now, this smell is quite warm. And I think what I've learned throughout this past year, especially doing just more makeup tutorials for you guys and reviews, is that I don't really like really warm scents, like coconutty vanilla scents. I prefer something more woodsy or something a little more clean so that it is one negative. The smell is quite strong. As you guys can see, it's not full pigment, but it is very comfortable. And that's so important to me for lip glosses. I don't like sticky lip glosses. I don't like when it's tacky or anything or goopy. I don't know why anyone would like that, but these days formulas are just so much better. And this is stunning. And just to do the top, I personally love wearing this shade Almond with a little bit of lip liner. I think it's like the perfect combination now you do feel this although it's not sticky or tacky it does have a thicker consistency so you may prefer that maybe not i personally like the true gloss by m cosmetics a bit more that's even more comfortable like that feels like nothing this definitely has more of that oomph and that gloss look to it like very high shine and then i want to show you guys fire this is a sheer orange almond has a little more pigment this one your natural lip color does peak through through. This shade is so stunning. Don't underestimate orange, okay guys? I used to years ago and then within these last couple of years, everything I get, orange. Orange blush, orange lips, orange lip products, everything. Even orange eyeshadow, I love it all. And the last product from the line is the SOS Facial Spray for $28. Now this is the full size, they do have the travel size. I will say I should have gotten the travel size. I thought I would like this based on all the reviews. There are so many reviews on this product, maybe the most out of their whole entire line. So many people have said such great things that it helps their mask knee, redness, anything that might irritate your skin, this has saved their skin. I haven't had that experience. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of a toner. And if you know me with skincare products, toner is very like, eh, do you need it? Not really. Don't find it very important in a skincare routine. I find this kind of just like, eh, I'm not gonna get it again. Now, I've only tried this for a couple weeks i haven't seen any improvement and my skin has definitely been irritated due to stress due to traveling and i haven't noticed much of anything which is a bit disappointing actually very disappointing when you compare to all the great reviews and saying like this has saved their skin when that just hasn't been the case for me and also talking about packaging this nozzle just to show you guys to me, this goes everywhere. I'm gonna show you on my skin, just so you guys know how wet it makes your face. It makes your face wet, wet, if you know what I mean. And also it has this weird, funky smell to it. I know I talk about smells and fragrances a lot on my channel. That's really important to me because I'm quite sensitive and I get headaches very easily. And there's this smell, it reminds me of chlorine, which is very weird, I know, but it smells like chlorine to me. Obviously a more subtle chlorine, but still chlorine. Let's remember what my skin looked like before, right? 
nice and glowy but matte in all the right areas and then with the spray i even pulled the spray arm's length so it's not even close to my face but still it makes my face so wet anyway i'm done talking let me show you Oh, I just can't get over that chlorine smell. It's there, but it's subtle at the same time. I don't know. I just look too wet and I don't like that look. Now I do use this since I have it and I have such such a big bottle. I do use this in my morning and nighttime skincare routine. I just don't use it with my makeup. It's a bit better, but again, haven't really seen much results. So is this worth it? You guys already know the answer. I won't even say it. No, it's not. And that's it for the full line review. Let me know what product or products have you tried, what's your favorite, and which ones do you not care about? I want to know down below. And I'm also curious, what are they going to come out with next? I could totally see them doing a, maybe a, like a tinted face moisturizer or something for the skin that just has a little more pigmentation for the face. Or I could see a concealer, definitely one of those. If you found this review helpful, definitely like it and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.